everybody and welcome back for another VR review. Today we're taking a look at Crisis Brigade on the Oculus Quest. Now this game was originally released back in February on PlayStation VR. It is currently available on Steam in early access for Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, and Windows Mixed Reality. The Oculus Quest version has not officially released and is currently only available via sideloading. So if you are interested in this title, go ahead, download SideQuest, set your Oculus Quest in the developer mode, and install this game. I highly recommend checking it out. Crisis Brigade is a time crisis inspired shooter with no locomotion options. You will be teleported to locations by a quick fade in and fade out, and in each new area, you must kill all the enemies on the screen to progress. One standout in this game is its punishing difficulty level. On rookie mode, you can take three hits before dying and having to completely restart the level. And on hell mode, you can only take one hit. Additionally, you are on a seven minute timer for the entire mission. There are multiple different paths you can take throughout the mission. And there are some power-ups available such as different weapons and slow motion. The major mechanic in this game is remaining behind cover. Poking out of cover for only a few moments will result in you getting shot. This can ultimately lead to some frustration as some of the hits feel cheap, especially when you first move into a new location and there are enemies scattered throughout the room which you're not aware of yet. In this scenario, you almost need to rely on your memory to protect you against these kills, as enemy locations are always a constant. So when you're moving into a specific new area, you can remind yourself, okay, there's going to be X amount of guys on the top balcony. I should look out for them first. Now, originally when this game first released on PlayStation VR, there was only one level available and the title was listed at $5.99. Since then, a second mission has been released and the title is now listed at $8.99. While I didn't get to play the Port Ambush mission on the Oculus Quest, it looks quite promising from Steam VR footage. My only concern is this mission looks a lot more action oriented and I'm concerned about the performance on the Oculus Quest. But as of right now, the Bank Heist mission runs perfectly and looks great. The cartoony style graphics actually work really well in VR, and in this case particularly well on the Oculus Quest, as this doesn't appear to be a graphically intensive title. In its current 0.4 version, this game already shows a ton of promise on the Oculus Quest. If you don't mind the brutal difficulty, it is a very fun game to play. And if it eventually releases on the Oculus Quest, at the $8.99 price tag, I think it brings just enough content to make it worth your money. If you were interested in picking this game up on another platform, it is currently on sale in Steam for $5.39. Now, while there's nothing revolutionary here, at that price, it is a really good option to check out. I do recommend it, guys. And I do look forward to adding it to my list of Oculus Quest games in the near future. Okay, everybody, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, leave your comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Your feedback is always appreciated, and I will see you guys on next time.